two rockets are launched at fireworks display. Rocket A is launched with initial velocity V0 equals 100 meters per second, and rocket B is launched T1 seconds later with the same initial velocity. The two rockets are timed to explode simultaneously at a height of 300 meter as A is falling and B is rising. Assuming constant acceleration, determine the time T1. Okay, now before thinking how to solve the problem, we need to identify the equation that we may start with. Obviously, from the height, initial velocity, given acceleration, and required time, the second equation appears to be our starting point. Now let's go back to the question and read what is happening carefully. The two rockets are timed to explode at a height of 300 meters, as A is falling and B is rising. So, if A is falling, it means that it has already crossed the 300 meters line, went all the way up, and came back to the 300 meter line again. B is rising, means that it has reached the 300 meter line on its way up. Let's look at the situation here. First, let's assume our positive motion starting from the ground going up, stopwatch started, and A is fired up with velocity V0. T1 seconds later, B is fired up with velocity V0. And by the time it reaches the 300 meter, A will be at the same level coming from up, and they both explode at this level, which is 300 meters. Let's apply the second equation on A and see what we get. Delta YA at the green line is 300 meters. Initial velocity is 100 and the gravity is minus G down. You will end up with a quadratic equation in T which has two solutions. T equals 3.65 seconds and T equals 16.73 seconds. And this makes a perfect sense. Why? Because the 300 meter displacement is satisfied twice in this problem. When A goes up, it reaches the 300 meter line after 3.65 seconds. And on its way down, it reaches the 300 meter line again after 16.73 seconds from the time we started our stopwatch. Now for rocket B, we'll use the same equation, but with T1 as the initial time. Note that we didn't do that with A because A started from T0 equals to zero. Because we have the same V0 and same height, the resulting equation is similar to the one we got from A. But instead of solving for T, we'll solve now for T minus T1. So just think of t minus t1 as some variable, let's say x for example, and solve for a quadratic equation x. The result is t minus t1 equals 3.65 and 16.73 seconds respectively. It's the same equation by the way, we just changed t in a to t minus 1 in b. Okay, so here's the situation. A crossed the green line twice, and we already agreed that it is reaching the line from above after 16.73 seconds. After waiting for T1 seconds, B is reaching the 300 meter line on its way up, which is logically after only 3.65 seconds. Therefore, taking the correct solution for A and use it in the correct solution of B, we can solve for T1, which is 13.08 seconds. Now, what does that physically mean? It means that rocket A is launched 
when we started the stopwatch and 13.08 seconds later rocket B is launched and when B started its motion after the 13.08 seconds of waiting it reached the 300 meter line in 3.65 seconds and this is the time when it meets with rocket A which has been already flying for 16.73 seconds